Welcome back guys, Garcia the Fisherman. I'm gonna make lesson number seven. I'm gonna try to make like at least three lessons per week in my channel so people can learn and me too will learn more stuff. You know, today, lesson number seven, I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna talk about the squirrel crankbait, the squirrel crankbait, when to use it and how to use it. I bought a five pack right here. I bought this five pack, it has different colors. Different colors depends on the forage in the lake. What 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 um what fishes are there for large mouth bass to go after. So to use the um the square bill, I learned that they had the DT ten, the T the DT twenty. I learned that those are for deep water, not for shallow water. I did not know that, but I learned that. For those who doesn't know that, I want you guys to learn. When you use a, a square bill crankbait, it's for shallow water. And let me explain why it's a good crankbait for shallow water. This this crankbait, this crankbait, you know in the shallow, there's a lot of woods, a lot of rocks. Lot of um, lot of twigs, so the square bill is good for not the crankbait not to get snagged, not to get snagged. You know, you don't want to use a DT DT ten, a DT ten, a DT twenty in a shallow water because it's gonna get snagged on a twig or or anything that is anything that has in the shallow. You know, there's a bunch of stuff out there. And the square bill crankbait is good for shallow water. That is that is what it's made for. That's what it's made for. Right here it has five different colors. I'm not gonna open the pack because this is a brand new pack that I bought. You know, it had, it had like dirty water color, clear water color, and almost like we can say clean and dirty where you almost can see the 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 crankbait guys lesson number seven like I said it's about the square bill crankbait it's for shallow water perfect for shallow water I did not know that you know there was a lot of times that I was using the wrong crankbait and I was got snack I lost my my you know I always got it sometimes I got it out sometimes I couldn't get it out but the square bill is good for shallow water so it doesn't get snagged and it's easy for it to get it out if it, it you know if it gets snagged. Lesson number seven, it's about the square bill crankbait. Do not use a DT10 in shallow water, please, because that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna keep getting snagged, even in the heavy cover. It's gonna keep getting snagged. Use a square bill. Square bill is good for shallow water. And you will catch more bass with the square bill. You know, I'm gonna I'm try to use this pack th this year and catch more bass on the square bill, guys. That's all I wanted to mention on lesson number seven about the square bill, how to use it and when to use it and not to use it in deep water. Use it in the shallow water because you're gonna keep getting snack if you use the wrong crankbait. And remember guys, those colors represent represent the bait, the, the large mouth, small mouth, whatever you're going after. You have to match the forage, what it's in the water. That's why they have different colors. They represent a bluegill or a uh, a shad, a crawfish, you know. So please, don't make the mistakes I did. We all make mistakes. Use the square bill crankbait on shallow water, like five feet, five feet, six feet. That that that's perfect. That's fine. But when we're talking about ten feet, twenty feet, use a DT crankbait. And that's the lesson number seven, guys. I wanted to make it short and quick. 
And that's all I gotta say about lesson number seven, guys. Go see the fisherman. Keep fishing, like I'm always saying. I, I'm right here in the north side. The water is iced. I can't even cast. So I'd rather make lessons. And I can travel travel right now. I'm having difficulties here, ups and downs. But guys, never give up. Never quit. Like I'm, I'm always saying, sometimes I just go insane. But keep fishing, guys. I'll see you next time. Garcia the Fisherman. Next lesson I'm going to talk about will be is the Shatterbait. See you next time, baby.